Hey guys, it's Bubblegum Pets, and um, today I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that I got from Maya and her food. I still need to get some stuff from the grocery store, some boneless meat and some chicken wings, um, but this is most of it, and it's all from my pet carnivore. Um, if you can, you could get it from like a butcher shop near you, but I don't really have one near me, so it's just easier to order it. So let's get started. The first thing we have, we have ground beef pancreas, and this is some of the organ meat. Um, and then, and that's a one pound container. And then we have two containers of fine ground turkey necks. Um, this is going to be her ground bone meat. And then she gets chicken wings as her other bone meat. Um, so yeah. And then this is ground lamb supreme, which is a boneless mixture of like lamb meat. And it has lamb breast, lamb heart, lamb trite, lamb liver, and lamb spleen. But the organs, the percentage of organ in it is really low. So it's basically just like a muscle meat. And then we have whole chicken hearts and whole chicken gizzards and beef liver. So. Yeah, this is all from My Pet Carnivore, if you can see, and they're basically like a raw pet food service that have a ton of stuff on their website, and they ship whatever you need to, um, to you, and so yeah, um, now I'm going to use my kitchen scale and my bags to bag it all up into the right proportions so basically um maya gets about one and a half ounces for every meal so that's three ounces a day um so the liver and the pancreas go together as an organ meal um and then everything else pretty much goes separately and so yeah I'm gonna package that into one and a half ounce little Ziploc baggy meals and then I'll try and show you what that looks like okay so I got most of it packaged um, the lamb I put back in the fridge because I didn't have enough um, small snack size bags to do the lamb so I'll just do that when I do the boneless meat and the chicken wings from the grocery store um so the first thing I did was the chicken hearts and I just wrote chicken heart on it and um there's about one and a half ounces of chicken heart in each package and I think I got 23 of those. So um, she only gets them once a week, I think. I have it written on her schedule. Um, so that will last a really, really long time. And then for the organ meat, this is the beef liver and the pancreas. Um, I just wrote organ on there because I didn't feel like writing it all out. Um, I got... 23 of those and it's 9 ounces of liver and 7 ounces of pancreas um, because she gets one organ meal a week but that wouldn't be enough um, like a high enough percentage it wouldn't be 10% if I didn't add if I didn't go over one and a half ounces so yeah, she has about 1.8 ounces of that in there. And then I had more organ than I did pancreas still left because I had more to start with. So I got five just plain um, liver 
packages. So there's 28 organs total. And then of the turkey neck, she got um, one and a half ounces. And it's just fine ground turkey neck. And I got 26 packages of these. And she gets ground turkey neck twice a week. Um, so those will last a while. And then for the gizzards, which are boneless meat, um, I got, they were just one to two ounces in each package because I didn't really cut them up. I just put them in their hole. So basically whatever they weighed is what the package got. Um, and they have the red circle on them because they're pretty easy to tell apart from any other meat. So I didn't feel like writing it all out. So the red means that it's a muscle meat. I have three Sharpies here. This one is muscle meat, organ meat, and bone meat. So whatever color writing. So this says, um, like it has T-neck on it in brown, so I know that it's a um, bone meat. And so yeah, I will see you guys later once I do the rest of the meat. So I just finished packaging all the lamb up and they're in 1.5 ounce packages and it's just a little red L there to tell me that it's muscle meat and that it's lamb. And I got, out of the two pound container, I got 21 little meals of these and um, I'm pretty sure she gets two of these a week. So the last while. And then last night I went to the store and got the rest of the stuff that we needed. We got boneless beef. So it's a red B on there to show that it's muscle meat and that it's beef. And then I also got some boneless turkey. And these are frozen from overnight. Um... And then we got some chicken wings, which um, I didn't label because they are pretty easy to identify. Um, so yeah, just over there we have the frozen individual packages of all the rest of the stuff that I did yesterday. So now I'm going to group it into what we need for one week and then I'll show you that. Okay so I'm packaging now and as you can see I have six weeks worth um like one sandwich bag is full of a week's worth of food so I have six weeks here um and it doesn't really fit in the bag but that's okay. Um so what I do for each week's worth is I put two lamb in and then one package of chicken hearts and either two beef and one turkey or two turkey and one beef. So doing two turkey and one beef and then one chicken wing and two turkey necks or two chicken wings and one turkey neck. So I did two turkey necks and one chicken wing. And then one package of organs and one package of gizzards. And the reason why that doesn't add up to 14 is because one meal a week is an egg yolk and two are her freeze dried raw. So that's why that doesn't add all the way up to a week, but um, most of the way. Okay, so here's just a quick clip of um, inside the freezer. I put four weeks worth in here, so each little bag is a week's worth, and then all the rest is out in the garage, so yeah, it's just in this little drawer and there's food all stacked up on top, um, so yeah, thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe.